finally back with another video and I'm going to be showing you how we run everything electrical inside of our van and we do all of it with one really cool device. I'm Brian and this is my wife Sav. In 2020 we bought a Chevy G20 van. So I bought a van. This is not a crazy expensive luxurious sprinter van. It's just a cool van that we completely gutted and rebuilt ourselves with no experience. We hope that these videos will inspire and motivate others who want to do the same. So when I first started looking into doing the van build, I knew that I wanted to have solar power. So I started watching YouTube videos and researching how to hook all that up, how it works. And it was like super overwhelming. You needed massive batteries, you needed converters, you needed controllers. And I just felt like it was way too much for me to figure out. In hindsight, I probably could have, but I found a much easier solution, which was getting a Blue Eddy power bank. Uh, the one I have is the Max Oak 2400 watt hour, um, but I'll put a link in the description to that one and other ones that do the same thing pretty much. Basically, it's a massive power, like the little power banks that you use to charge your phone. It's kind of like that, except like ginormous and it powers the entire van and I charge it with the solar. But the cool thing is the solar panels just plug straight into it. You don't need uh, converters, controllers, all the ERS, uh, it, all that is inside this one device and it's really cool. They're not paying me to say that. I just really like it. So firstly, really quick, I wanna show you everything in the van that we are powering off of the Blue Eddy, and then we'll get into how it's hooked up. So the Blue Eddy itself has two separate power sources. You've got your DC power, which is your 12 volt, and then you have your AC, which is 120 volts, which is just like your regular household plugs. So just on the DC circuit, on that we are running the lights in the ceiling. We are running our big Max Air fan up front and we are running our smaller vent line fan in the back of the van. And then also all of the USB ports on the front of the Blue Eddy we use to charge our phones and camera batteries and all that kind of stuff. Those are all on the 12 volt circuit as well. And that is pretty much everything that we do off of the uh, 12 volt. So then on the AC circuit, the 120 volts, we are running our refrigerator, our microwave, and our Zero Breeze air conditioner. So just a quick disclaimer about the microwave. Um, all these smaller ones usually are 700 watt microwaves. That's what this is. And mistakenly, when I bought this, I thought that that meant they only pull 700 watts of power, but I was wrong uh, for whatever reason. They actually pull like 1100 watts of power. And the Blue Eddy that I have is only rated for 1000 watts of power. Uh, it does actually still work because the Blue Eddy is able to pull like 1150 for so many minutes or something. So it actually does work, but I have to have everything else in the van turned off in order to use the microwave, which is a little annoying, but it hasn't really been an issue. We don't use the microwave super often, but it is really nice to have uh, when we need it. So it works, but there is a, you have to like shut everything off to use it. So just be aware of that. But there are newer power banks from Blue Eddy or other places uh, that you can pull more than a thousand watts. So if you get one of those, that wouldn't be an issue. Our fridge is pretty much the only thing that's always on. Uh, the air conditioner and the microwave, we just use occasionally when we really need them. But the fridge has to keep all our food cold, so obviously it's always running. Uh, when it is on, it uses right around 120 watts, I want to say. That's when the compressor is running though. So even if the fridge is on, the compressor shuts on and off to regulate the temperature. Um, so a lot of times the compressor is turned off and it's actually not drawing any power. But when the compressor is on, it's constantly drawing uh, 120 watts. And that's pretty much the only thing in the whole van that's constantly pulling power. So we have our Zero Breeze run to the AC 120 volt power. It actually goes through an adapter that runs it back down to 24 volts. And it's, I got really confused hooking this up. Uh, I think it is possible to run it off of the 12 volt circuit, but we needed another something or another uh, that I didn't have. So I just, the plug it comes with is made to plug it into an AC plug. So we just went with that. Also, I'm pretty sure if we did have it on the 12 volt circuit, it would probably max it out because it, it uses like 240 watts when it's turned all the way up, uh, which will be about the most our 12 volt circuit could take. So it's probably best to leave it on the AC where it has no problems uh, since our AC can take 
a thousand watts. And then also we have this extra battery underneath that we try to keep topped off. And this is like our backup, say if our Blue Eddy is running low on power because it's been cloudy or for whatever reason, we will run the air conditioner if we need it off of this so that we don't completely drain our Blue Eddy because we never want the Blue Eddy to hit zero because then our fridge won't run and our food will go bad. Uh, so it's kind of like a balancing game you have to play. But this is our backup air conditioner power in case we need that. So that is everything in the van that is drawing power at any given time. Now I want to get into how we hooked all this up um, and made it all work without having wires and extension cords strewn all over the place. So to start with, on the top of the van, we have two 180 watt solar panels. Um, I got mine from Bouge RV, but basically you just want to find the biggest solar panels you can fit on top of your rig. Uh, and also still leave room for your fans, obviously. But I'll put some links in the description if you need solar panels. So the cool thing about the Blue Eddy is uh, it comes with an adapter cord that your solar panel cords hook into, and that goes straight into your Blue Eddy, and that's it. You don't have to go through a solar controller or anything like that. Just plug straight into your Blue Eddy, and it does the rest. So whenever there's sunlight, as long as that's plugged up, your Blue Eddy is charging, topping off, and it's able to charge while you're using it, which is obviously uh, the most important thing, you want to be able to be running stuff in your van while it's charging. So, we've got power going into the Blue Eddy, and then we need power coming out of the Blue Eddy to power everything in the van. So obviously I didn't want extension cords running all over the van to get to this one spot on the Blue Eddy to power everything, so all of this I ran inside of the walls uh, before the van was finished. So I'm going to show you an old video I shot when you could still see all the cords and everything, just so you can kind of see how I ran everything before all these walls were covering it up. So finishing up the wiring in the van, just wanted to go over exactly how I did everything before I button all this up, because you're not going to be able to see it. But if we step outside, on top we've got 280 watt solar panels. They are wired together going to the van here. They drop down through here. Come down to here, and they're wired into the adapter that came with the Blue Eddy here. That comes right over here, that'll be, I'll be underneath the box, and hooks out right here. So that is where we will get the solar, panel, solar power, which plugs straight into the Blue Eddy there. Um, then our 12 volt circuit coming out of the Blue Eddy is here. So this is what will power most of the van. Um, but this, I just drilled it straight into there so it's nice and neat. That goes back through here. And that is this big cord, black and white cord that goes straight into uh, the negative and positive on my fuse box. And then from the fuse box, I have um, everything that's on a 12 volt circuit. So I've got my max fan, uh, my interior lighting, and then the smaller vent fan, which is this thing right here. And then I just did an extra circuit just in case I come, come up with something else I need after I button all this up. And then lastly, I've got my AC plugs on the Blue Eddy. So I just got a nice big power strip with a 10 foot cord that plugs into here. We'll run back through here. It'll all be hidden under here. And this is gonna run all the way up and be mounted on the wall here, which is where the uh, kitchen counter and sink and stove, microwave, mini fridge, and all that will be. Because my mini fridge and microwave will be AC power because the 12 volt ones are stupid expensive. Um, so I'm just gonna run those on AC. But that's how all that will work. So yeah, that's my wiring. Basically, we've got one cord coming out of the DC plug that goes around to the back of the van where we have a 12 volt fuse box um, for everything that's running on 12 volt to run through that fuse box and then to the Blue Eddy to get power. That's not completely necessary because the, the Blue Eddy does have safety features in it where if something trips or whatever, it'll shut itself off, but I felt why not have like an extra layer of protection there to make sure there's no issues and it's really cheap and honestly easier to keep everything organized this way. So everything runs into a fuse box and then these cords run out to power everything 
in the van. So one cord is going up through the wall and then around the back of the van, and then it comes all the way around to where this light switch is. And then out of the light switch, it goes back up and powers these LED lights in the ceiling. The other two cords just come straight up this corner and then go to my fans um, up like behind the ceiling. And then for the AC, I didn't do um, a fuse box and all that. So I was kind of comfortable working with the DC because it's not like a ton of power you're messing with. But with the AC, um, I didn't really want to be like splitting cords apart and doing all that because I'm not an electrician. Um, so for this, I used power strips. I've just got one power strip that plugs into the back of the Blue Eddy. And then from there, I have one plug that goes to another power strip that is underneath the kitchen cabinet. And that is where the microwave and the fridge are plugged in. And then I have another plug going into the first power strip that goes through the walls around the back and goes to the air conditioner um, to either plug in the air conditioner or charge that extra battery that's over there. And that's the only two things I have um, coming off of AC. So I could have just plugged those straight into the Blue Eddy, which I did to start with. But the reason I put this power strip here was to make it super easy and streamlined to switch from solar power to shore power. And we'll get into that. If you're wondering what this white cord is going to, it just goes to this little extension cord type thing. Um, this stays here and I usually use that to charge my computer. I am planning to put another um, little cabinet probably right here that will hold this and also have other plugs in it. Maybe something in that corner also so that I don't have to have that sitting there. Uh, but just if you were wondering, that's what that is. So how we hook up to our shore power. It is pretty windy out, so I apologize if the audio is not the greatest. Uh, but we're going to take a look through the back of the van because this is where you can get to all these wires that are down here. So first step is actually to look inside our handy dandy bed compartment and get our extension cord that we use to plug up to the shore power. So this just plugs in on the corner of the van right here. I added this plug. I think in my first video I said they were $10. They're actually like 20 bucks. Uh, but I got it on Amazon and I'll put a link to that if you need one. Uh, but this is all waterproof. This just opens up. That plugs in there. And then we take the rest of the cord and plug it into our power. This like barely reaches, but I'm just gonna plug in right here. Now we have power going to the van and I'm gonna show you how to switch everything around inside so that we're running off of that power. Okay, so up underneath here, uh, it may kind of look like a mess, but it's actually all pretty simple. You probably notice these two big boxes sitting here. So this is the AC charger for the Blue Eddy. And this is a converter that takes AC power to DC power. These just sit here most of the time because they're not used when we're on solar power. But when we switch to shore power, that is when these come into play. So this cord coming out right here, this black cord, is what goes back um, outside and is where the shore power hooks up. And then it goes into this splitter. This is the Blue Eddy charger and the AC to DC adapter. So basically this is where all of our power is coming from when we are on shore power. So to run everything in the van off of it, all we have to do is go to the Blue Eddy where the, this main power strip is plugged in. We just simply unplug that and then plug it into the shore power. So now that power strip is being powered off of our shore power. And we also have the Blue Eddy charger and the AC to DC adapter. And I'll show you why that's important. So we are back around at the front of the bed. This is the Blue Eddy charger that comes from that thing we just plugged in. And this is the AC to DC adapter. The reason this adapter is important is because all of our DC stuff is running off of the Blue Eddy. And I could just let it continue to run off of that while the Blue Eddy charges, but it's not going to charge as fast when it's powering stuff. So I like to turn off the Blue Eddy when I'm hooked to shore power to give it a break and let it completely charge. Um, so to do that, I have to have some way to power my DC lights and fans and all of that. So that's where this comes into play. All we have to do is take this DC plug out of the Blue Eddy and plug that into the adapter. 
So now all of our DC power is coming from the shore power. And then to charge the Blue Eddy, we're gonna unplug our solar power from it. Go ahead and turn it off because nothing is running off of it anymore. And then we will take that cord coming from the charger in the back and plug that into the Blue Eddy. You'll see it instantly starts charging. So now the Blue Eddy is charging and not powering anything. It's completely turned off and everything in the van should be running off of our shore power. Can flip the lights on, they're working. The microwave is on, fridge should be on. So that is how we switch from our solar power to our shore power. So I think that pretty much covers how everything electrical works in our van. I know this video was kind of long, but I hope it was informative and helpful. If you did like it or benefit from it, give it a like and subscribe to the channel. And if there's anything about the van that you have questions about or are interested in knowing how we did, feel free to comment those and I will try to make a video about what you're interested in. But thank you for watching.